Talks with Shri Ramana Maharishi, Talk 53. A young man, Mr. Knowles, came for darshan. He had read Paul Brenton's two books. He asked, The Buddhists say that I is unreal, whereas Paul Brenton in The Secret Path tells us to get over the I thought and reach the state of I, which is true. Maharishi, there are supposed to be two eyes. The one is lower and unreal, of which all are aware, and the other the higher and the real, which is to be realized. You are not aware of yourself while asleep. You are aware in wakefulness, waking. You say that you were asleep. You did not know it in the deep sleep state. So then, the idea of diversity has arisen along with the body consciousness. This body consciousness arose at some particular moment. It has origin and end. What originates must be something. What is that something? It is the I consciousness. Who am I? Whence am I? Of, of, on finding the source, you realize the state of absolute consciousness. Disciple, who is this I? It seems to be only a continuum, continuum of sense impression. The Buddhist idea seems to be so too. Maharishi, the world is not external. The impressions cannot have an outer origin because the world can be cognized only by consciousness. The world does not say that it exists. It is your impression. Even so, this impression is not consistent and not unbroken. In deep sleep, the water is not cognized and so it exists not for a sleeping man. Therefore, the world is the sequence of the ego. Find out the ego. The finding of its source is the final goal. Disciple, I believe that <coughs> I believe that we should not inflict sufferings on other lives. Should we then endure the mosquito bite and submit to it also? Maharishi, you do not like to suffer yourself. How can you inflict suffering on others? Just keep off mosquitoes since you suffer by their stings. Disciple, is it right that we kill other lives like mosquitoes, bugs? Maharishi, everyone is a suicide. The eternal, blissful and natural state has been smothered by this life of ignorance. In this way, the present life is due to the killing of the eternal, pristine being. Is it not a case of suicide? So then everyone is a suicide. Why worry about murdering, murders and killing? In the course of a later talk, the visitor said, The world sends impressions and I awake. Maharishi, can the world exist without someone to perceive it, which is prior? The being consciousness or the rising consciousness? The being consciousness is always there, eternal and pure. The rising consciousness rises forth and disappears. It is transient. Disciple, does not the world exist for others even when I am asleep? Maharishi, such a world mocks at you also for knowing it without knowing yourself. The world is the result of your mind. <coughs> know your mind. Then see the world. You will realize that it is not different from the self. Disciple, is not Maharishi aware of himself and his surroundings as clearly as I am? Maharishi, to whom is the doubt? The doubts are not for the realized. They are only for the ignorant. Talk 54. An Andhra Pandit, an elderly gentleman, had some doubts regarding Kaival Kavyakantha's exposition of Advaita. He has found it in books that Brahman is free from Sajatiya, Vijatiya and Svagata Bheda. Such conditions are satisfied in Vivarta Vada but not in Parinama Vada. In the later, Svagata Bheda is bound to be. The master pointed out that Dakshina Murti did not teach anything of the kind. He did not say that Brahman is related to Shakti or not related. All that was was only silence and the doubts of the Sishyas were cleared. The significance is that there is nothing to be learned, discussed and concluded. Everyone knows I am. There is a confusion that the I is the body. Because the I arises from the Absolute and gives rise to Buddhi, intellect, the Buddhi, the I, looks the size and shape of the body. Namedha means that Brahman cannot be comprehended by Buddhi. Brahman, Aham, I, I, leads to Buddhi intellect. 
हाउ कैन सच बुद्धि क्रॉस ओवर अहम डिस्कवर ब्रह्मन इट इज़ इम्पॉसिबल जस्ट गेट ओवर द फॉल्स कॉन्सेप्शन ऑफ द आई बींग द बॉडी डिस्कवर टू होम द थाट्स अराइज इफ द प्रेजेंट आईनेस वैनिशेज द डिस्कवरी इज कंप्लीट वॉट रिमेन्स ओवर इज द प्योर सेल्फ कंपेयर डीप स्लीप एंड वेकफुलनेस डाइवर्सिटी एंड बॉडी आर फाउंड ओनली इन दि लेटर इन दि फॉर्मर द सेल्फ रिमेन्स विथाउट द परसेप्शन ऑफ बॉडी और ऑफ दि वर्ल्ड हैप्पीनेस रेन्स देर द श्रुति वाक्य अहम ब्रह्मास्मी रिलेट्स टू द स्टेट एंड नॉट द मोड ऑफ माइंड वन के नॉट बिकम ब्रह्मन बाई कंटिन्यूइंग टू रिपीट द मंत्र इट मीन्स दैट ब्रह्मन इज नॉट एल्स वेयर इट इज योर सेल्फ फाइंड दैट सेल्फ ब्रह्मन इज फाउंड डो नॉट अटेम्प्ट टू रीच ब्रह्मन एज इफ इट वर इन सम फार ऑफ प्लेस द पंडित रिमार्क दैट थाट्स आर सो परसिस्टेंट दैट The aham cannot be reached. The master said, "The Brahma akara vritti helps to turn the mind away from other thoughts. Either some such practice is necessary, or association with sadhus should be made. The sadhu has already overcome the mind and remains in peace. His proximity helps to bring about such condition in others. Otherwise, there is no meaning in seeking a sadhu's company. Deho ham." i am the body is limitation and is the root of all means and selfish actions and desires brahman brahma aham i am brahman is passing beyond limitation and sim- signifies sympathy charity love etc which are divine and virtuous disciple how does the grihastha householder fare in the scheme of moksha liberation maharishi Why do you think you are a grihastha? If you go out as a sannyasi, a similar thought that you are a sannyasi will haunt you. Whether you continue in the household or renounce it and go to the forest, your mind haunts you. The ego is the source of thoughts. It creates the body and the world and makes you think you are a grihastha. If you renounce the world, it will only substitute the thought sannyasi for grihastha and the environments of the forest for those of the household but the mental obstacles are always there they even increase in new surroundings there is no help in the chance of environment the obstacle is the mind it must be got over whether at home or in the forest if you can do it in the forest why not in the home therefore why change the environment environment your efforts can be made even now in whatever environment you may be the environment never abandons you according to your desire look at me i left home look at yourself you have come here leaving the home environment what do you find here is this different from what you left even if one is immersed in a nirvikalpa samadhi for years together when he emerges from it he will find himself in the environment which he is bound to have that is the reason for the acharya expressing sahaja samadhi in preference to nirvikalpa samadhi in his excellent work viveka chudamani one should be in spontaneous samadhi that is in one's pristine state in the midst of every environment later on shri bhagavan said control of breath may be internal or external the anta pranayama the internal breath regulation is as follows naham chitta i am not the body idea is rechaka koham who am i is puraka inhalation soham i am he is kumbhaka retention of breath doing thus the body becomes automatically controlled bahi pranayama external control is for one not endowed with strength to control the mind there is no way so sure as that or a sadhu's company the external practice must be resorted to by a wise man if he does not enjoy a sadhu's company if in a sadhu's company the sadhu provides the needed strength though unseen by others pranayama need not be exactly as described in hatha yoga if engaged in japa dhyana bhakti etc just a little control of breath will suffice to control the mind the mind is the rider and the breath of the 
हॉर्स एंड द ब्रेथ द हॉर्स प्राणायामा इज ए चेक ऑन द हॉर्स बाय दैट चेक द राइडर इज चेकड प्राणायामा मे बी डन जस्ट अ लिटिल टू वॉच द ब्रेथ इज वन वे ऑफ डूइंग इट द माइंड एब्स्ट्रैक्टेड फ्रॉम अदर activities is engaged in watching the breath that controls the breath and in its turn the mind is controlled if unable to do so rechaka and puraka need not be practiced breath may be retained a short while in japa dhyana etc then two good results will follow talk 55 disciple can advaita be realized by japa of holy names say rama krishna etc maharishi yes disciple is it not a means of an inferior order maharishi have you been told to make japa or to discuss its order in the scheme of things silence continued talk 56 a youth of 20 asked how to realize the self he sat down in silence and waited more than an hour and then was about to leave while doing so he asked disciple how to realize self maharishi who is self find out disciple who am i maharishi find it yourself disciple i do not know maharishi think who is it that says i do not know what is not known in that sentence who is the i disciple somebody in me maharishi who is the somebody in whom disciple maybe some power maharishi find it disciple how to realize brahman maharishi without knowing the self why do you seek to know brahman disciple the shastras say brahman pervades all and me too maharishi find the i in me and then there will be time to think of brahman disciple why was i born maharishi who was born the answer is the same for all of your questions disciple who am i then maharishi smiling have you come to examine me and ask me you must say who you are disciple in deep sleep the soul leaves the body and remains elsewhere when it re enters i awake is it so maharishi what is it that leaves the body disciple the power perhaps maharishi find out the power disciple the body is composed of five elements what are the elements maharishi without knowing the self how do you aim at knowing the elements The young man sat a while and left with permission. The master remarked later, "All right, it will work." To be continued. Om Namah Shivaya.